Next from Derek Meha Mahia, and the subject is Dave Dave and Brian fight. Hey K one hundred. Hey hey K hey K crew. Did you guys catch a fight between Dave and Brian over the AW run over time? For once, I agreed with Alvarez on AW need to fix the issues with the run over. I work offshore on an oil platform, so some a lot of the times I record the shows and come back and watch the end later. To Brian's point, if you record it, you miss the ending due to the run over. Dave believes it's the fans' fault because we we should know that they will have a run over and record the following show. If WWE has run over, they set it in the time slot and records the whole show. And Dave says, well, AEW doesn't know if they will have run over, so it's a fan's job to figure out what the following show that comes on next is and should not and should record that too. Half the time we don't know what, what shows come on next, and I have my DVR set to record all AEW and WWE shows. Because I don't take the time to find out what the show is next and record that too. And it's not my fault. It's my fault, not Tony or AEW fault. According to Dave, how do you guys see this? Thank you. From the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. This was one of Dave's worst moments. Um, and in his, his, what do you call it? The podcast or the show that went on yeah, YouTube, right? YouTube, Bro, he, he has not, I mean, for a guy that's supposed to be an expert, dude, you have to hit your time cues. If you don't know your time cues beforehand, like that, that's, that is the, the, the company's fault. The production of AEW's fault. You're supposed to have the show formatted out, and you hit your your cue on time. They say, "Well, they don't know because the match." It's like it's a scripted wrestling show. Yeah, like Dave was one hundred and Dave was one million percent wrong here, and this and the fact that he didn't know how that's supposed to work showed extreme level of ignorance of professional wrestling, and and like, and it's just it really was it really highlighted that like anybody that's been in the business. Okay, that's been to wrestling shows and you work behind the scenes of show. Anybody listening to that was literally laughing out loud at how ignorant Dave was on the subject matter. And that Brian knew was go Brian knew exactly. Brian was 100 percent right and was just, you know, basically reporting common sense. Now the funniest thing, the, the worst thing about this is that you know, Dave probably talks to Tony. And if Tony didn't even know this, that's even worse. Like you can't miss your cue. You can't just let the show go on. Right. You have to hit your time cues. You know, <laughs> so that's I mean, like, uh, I don't know. I, but I mean, Dave, it, you're right. And and I, you got to love Cornette because he did 20 minutes on this. I was just looking at oh, it. Oh, it, uh, it was funny too. I listened to it. It's just, it's just yeah. hysterical. But as, oh, a, yeah. as a wrestling fan since the late 80s when I was really young and then the mid 90s when shows did run over, when I DVR a show, I do take – notice and i usually record it for 10 minutes extra but that's just because i'm expecting maybe it's going to run over but not everybody knows that so uh, it's well, to me it was really an asinine argument but of course it should say 8 p.m to 10 08 or 10 10 just in case if they have to you know people's dvr is cut off you will miss a finish you got to record another 10 minutes and if they're not telling you that how are you going to know yeah 